This is Nicholas Bell with Ion Cinema reviewing Reese Ernst's directorial debut, Adam, uh, which premiered at the 2019 Sundance Film Festival in the next program uh, and is about to play as the U.S. Gala Centerpiece uh, uh, at Outfest uh, before an August release date in the theater. Uh, so uh, Reese Ernst is a producer for uh, Amazon's Transparent series and he has made a period piece set in 2006, New York, uh, that's basically a glance at gender and sexual identities. Um, it's based on a 2014 uh, YA novel by Ariel Schrag, who also ad adapts her own screenplay. Uh, and it, it's, it's trying to do a lot that it's not always successful with, even though uh, it's well-intentioned and it's hard in the right place. So basically it's about uh, an 18 year old boy who uh, named Adam, played by Nicholas Alexander, uh, who goes to visit his sister, played by Margaret, Margaret Qualley, who is Anne McDowell's daughter. Um, who's a Columbia student and he's going to spend the summer with her in New York. Uh, she's a lesbian slash queer identified woman who uh, doesn't, whose parents don't know that about her. Uh, and basically Adam uh, falls in love with a young woman played by Bobby Salvor Menuez, who used to be known as India Menuez. Uh, I remember her from uh, Nathan Silver's Uncertain Terms. Uh, Jillian, who's a lesbian, but he keeps getting mistaken as a trans man. Uh, but because he likes Jillian, uh, he uh, goes along and does not correct her. And so then the film uh, does a role reversal situation where, uh, as is very predictably, uh, he has to come out as cis uh, gender male. Uh, the, the It's not that novel of an idea considering 1999's Three to Tango did that with Matthew Perry who everyone thought was gay and he had to come out as straight uh, and the film's dialogue hinges on mouthpiece shrill narcissism and uh, Menuez's Jillian is actually kind of the only likable character in the film. Uh, Margaret Qualley is extremely grating, kind of unlikable um, and it's sad to see that it's kind of a missed opportunity um, for what has a lot of great uh, conversation starters. Um, and Ernst also kind of misses out on really kind of getting to the feeling of New York in 2006 and actually the LGBT community uh, under the Bush administration. Um, it also has, you know, features uh, some trans representation, which is great, uh, but this feels very first wavy. MJ Rodriguez from Pose has a little cameo. Uh, it's nice to see her, would have liked to see more of her or something from her perspective, um, rather than going to this white cis entry into this kind of narrative, like Daniel Lesovitz's Port Authority, which played a can, kind of had uh, the same problems with that narrative. Um, Unfortunately, uh, I'd give it a two out of five stars. Um, some interesting elements. It just felt a little rougher on the edges for what it could have been. Hey, this is Eric from MyOnCinema.com. If you want to support us, subscribe below. For more reviews, interviews, film festival coverage from Sundance, Cannes, Toronto, you want to check out these guys on this side.